Hey, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in the Sudoku problem series. This is one that was submitted to me by Doomed Yacht, um, and basically this is one of the cooler um, and sometimes less obvious difference dot constraints or crop key constraints. So... Of course, the um, rules in this puzzle are, of course, the normal Sudoku rules, although you don't have to fill out the whole grid. That would be impossible. Um, and there is white crop key dot, which means that the cell separated by the white dot must be consecutive. So pause the video, see if you can figure out the solution, and I'll be back in a few seconds to explain this one. Okay, so this is a trick that is used quite a lot in crop key problems, um, where you need to look at a dot like this and try and figure out what the possibilities are. And there's a couple of ways you can look at this. Um, so the way I used to look at this when I first started was just going through the options and seeing what could be on this dot. So you can't put one, two on this dot because you can't put a one on it. Um, you could put two, three on this dot. Um, uh, you can't put three, four because there's no four. You can't put four, five, it sees a four. You can't put five, six, it sees a six. You can't put six, seven because it sees a six. You can't put seven, eight because it sees an eight. You can't put eight, nine because it sees an eight. So out of all of the options, the only one you could put was two, three. So you put two, three in, but one of them sees a three. So this becomes two and this becomes three. And that is the solution to the problem. Problem. Now, I actually look about look at this a different way now. Um, and if I was solving this now, what I would say is, um, and this is slightly faster, I find, but um, is less thorough. But I just wanted to present both ways. Since I started looking at puzzles in a parity way, um, any white dot must have an even digit on it. So because it sees a four, a six, and an eight in both of its cells, this must have a two on it. So it either must be one, two, or two, three. It sees a one, so it immediately has to be two, three. And because that cell sees a three, that has to be the three, and that has to be the two. And that's the way I would have solved this um, if I was looking at this in a puzzle now most of the time. Um, <clears throat> Or at least that's the way I would hope I would see it. When you're in the middle of a flow of a puzzle, you can see all sorts of things depending on where your mind currently is. Um, but there are two different ways of looking at this, um, and hopefully you are able to find a workable solution to this one quite quickly. Um, hope you're enjoying the series, and as always, good luck with your solving.